Hey everyone, welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here on Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. I'm Cardwell. And today we have a fun new deck. It is kind of a meta deck, so we have a couple people asking about meta decks. So we're going to show some of those now for a little bit. We've already shown the old or the new rulers and what they can kind of do, but we're going to delve into everything else. Um, but before we get into it, guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It really just takes an extra dollar to give us some love and support. We greatly appreciate it. And also down below, there's also a link to our Force of Will Grimoire, our FOW Grimoire. Go check that out. It is an app that we created that is a deck builder for Force of Will slash deck database. So you can look up any of the cards you want while you're on the go, waiting for whatever, waiting for a new GP, waiting for whatever you're doing. Yeah, exactly. You're bored, you want to make a deck, you get the ability to. So go check it out. Link is on down below as well. With that, we're going to delve into the Yard of Nightmares with our boy Rizard. So we're going to start with Rizard and all of the crazy like meta stuff of him. So for those that don't know him, He's the black green stranger ruler and he's got stranger 10 energized black and a green and judgment of green black black so pretty simple pretty straightforward on that whenever a darkness regalia enters the field under your control you choose one if the regalia is death scythe you choose up to two instead choose two cards from a stranger deck at random and put them into the yard each player banishes a resonator or put a resonator from your graveyard into your hand or pay zero to do judgment this turn Whew, that was a lot Oh yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> he is actually super super strong on the ruler side just because you get free creature removal. Like being able to just play a, a regalia that's going to help you and kill their board. Yeah. Super strong. Just banish the dude and, and I get extra stuff. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I get two strangers and you kill a dude. Great. Thanks. Uh, his J ruler side, he is a 10-10 with enter. Put the top four of your deck into the graveyard. Then you may put a resonator from your graveyard into the field. If you do, it gains darkness and a vampire in addition to its other races. And then his god's art is blood revolution. Pay a black and a green. For each vampire you control and starting from the one with the highest attack to the one with the lowest, target a resonator your opponent controls. Vampires you control get plus four plus four. And then each of them deals damage to, of their attack to the chosen target. So like you have 12, 12, a 10, 10, and a 4, 4. You choose 12, 10, 4 and they target a dude and they shoot that dude. You can shoot the same guy if you need to. It's just however you want to do it. Um, his God's Art is really what kind of helps him win the game slash clear the board. Yeah. And if you have a Makage Ray in play, you get to gain a lot of life because all vampires gain drain then. Yeah. The first stranger we got is Undyne the Spirit. She's a blue and one with 7-7 seven, seven with quick cast and flying. Enter. Return up to three target non J ruler, non resonator, non magic stone entities to the owner's hands. So you hit additions and regalias. Yeah, pretty much. But that's worth it because you get your own regalias back to trigger death scythe some more and do all the silly shenanigans uh <clears throat> next up is faust the promising warrior he is two green two black and one for a 14 14 with bane and drain <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I mean sure 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 we'll call uh pay a black put a promise counter on target resonator you control play this ability only if this is in your yard whenever a resonator with a promise counter is uh killed you put this card from your graveyard into the field. So essentially you put it on like one of your little dudes and whenever that little dude dies by you banishing dudes, you get a free dude. Yeah, simple as that. So Death Scythe, you put them in the graveyard and then you pay another black and then you're just like, hey, cool, thanks. Yeah. And Death Scythe can activate this ability while he's in the yard because he's going to target things in the yard. Or so activate abilities. Just make yard. sure all your dudes have promise counters. Yeah. That's all it takes. Yeah. Uh, next up, Loki, the Ancient Demon Lord. He has three black and seven for a 12-12 with flying. You pay one less to play this card for each resonator in the field, and then enter, remove all other resonators from the game. Most of the time, if you can get this dude off of, or in the yard while you judgment, they, or yeah, when you judgment, he can be put into play for free and you get another 12 total that removes all dudes. Yeah, exactly. Dude's insane for playing that way. Uh, next is Kronos, the master of labyrinth. He has two blue and a black for a 10-10. Enter, and at the beginning of your turn, you choose one that has not been chosen. Your opponent cannot play Resonators, play Chance, play Additions, or play Regalia. You choose one of those four, and then each turn you choose a different one. And if you have two of these dudes out, they stack, so one says Chance and one says Resonators, and then <laughs> yeah. you just lock them out of the game. Yeah. Like, that's kind of what you want to do, is if you can get both on the same turn, then you want to lock them out that way. Um, next up is Blue Wizard. Why not? Yeah, I mean, it's Lorite. You still kind of need it. Uh, one blue, quick cast, 6-6. Six, six, cancel target automatic ability of a resonator. It's still really, really good. Uh, next is Black Wizard. He has one black for a 6-6 six, six with Bane. 
You pay zero, produce a black, play this only if he's in your graveyard. And so if he gets in there early, then he helps you do so much. Because you're like, cool, I get a free black mana. Yeah. Which is awesome. And then a one drop 6x six, six with Bane is pretty good too. Uh, and then the final stranger we have is Athenia, the Windmaster. She is one green for a 6x. Six, six. And enter, put target, put up to two target cards in any remove zone to their owner's graveyard. Uh, banish this card, target stranger or regalia against barrier. And then whenever she is put into the graveyard from the field, you pay green. And if you do, you choose a stranger at random and put it in your hand. So she is super, super strong for the simple fact that she can get back the cards that you remove by yourself from her death side. So you're like, cool, I need to get that dude back, put it in my yard, and you get that back. Or she just gets to protect your strangers. All, all super good. Yeah, super, super awesome. All right, and then we'll go ahead and jump into the resonators now. We have Yudrasil, of course, the heroic spirit of the world tree. Uh, she costs one uh, colorless, so anything, zero, four. But enter, search your deck for Regella that shares the same attribute that, of will that you uh, spent to play this card. Reveal it and put it in your hand and then shuffle your deck and then tap. Produce any will of one attribute, spin this only to play Regalia. So, get your <clears throat> Regalia is cheaper and then also by turn two as need be. Yeah, and I highly undervalued how good that card was when I first saw it. Like, since I've been playing it, I will not not run four of these. Yeah, yeah. It, it just helps you so much because you get to go dig for your Regalia and always have it. Uh, next is Mikage Reya. One drop, quick cast, six or four four with flying and quick cast. Enter, search your deck for a darkness card, put it into the graveyard, then shuffle your deck which is busted. Yes. Uh, vampires you control gain drain. And then if this card is banished as an additional cost to a mage art or effect of a mage art, put this card in your, from your graveyard into your hand. She's very powerful. Probably right now one of the best one drops in the game. Agreed. Uh, just because anything that you can automatically in, like entomb a creature by putting in the yard is super strong. And because... Especially with Zard. You're playing with Zards. You're, you're all about your graveyard. So being able to be like, hey, cool, free dude in the yard. I don't care. It It's mind-boggling how much you can do with her because she's kind of like a toolbox card because she allows you to go get any darkness card. And the fact that you can keep doing it over and over and yeah. over again, which is awesome. And of course we have Sigurd the Covenant King. It's black and green, 8-8. Eight, eight. Play this card only from your graveyard, of course. Zombies you control gain Bane. Enter. Search your deck for a darkness addition, put it in two or less, and put it in the field. Then shuffle your deck. Next is Frisia, the Virtuous Vampire. She is a black and a green for a 6-6 six, six with flying and barrier. You discard a wind card, target dude gets plus 4, plus 4. Discard a darkness card, target dude gets minus 4, minus 4. And if you discard a wind slash darkness card, target resonator gets plus 4, plus 4. And another gains minus 4, minus 4. And her other ability is dealing with 5 heroes, and that doesn't matter because yeah. we don't care. But mainly she's just there to help you put Sigurd in the graveyard because you discard him to give something plus four and minus four or just protect you yeah just any cards you don't want in your hand into the graveyard yeah for sure the next <clears> one <throat> the next one is necromancer it's black black and green so enter remove all resonators and target players graveyard from the game put a one one counter on this card for each resonator remove this way and this just helps you know any way you can destroy your opponent's graveyard is definitely the best yeah this dude is super strong against the the mirror because you're like, cool, all your dudes that you don't want, that you want, they're all gone. Yeah. Uh, next is Nidhogg. It is two black and two white. For a 12-12 flyer with you gain barrier. Enter, look at your opponent's hand, choose two, choose up to two cards, they remove them from the game. While this cards, while this leaves the field, you put all the cards removed by it back in the donor's hand. So, you don't actually play this dude. You, you reanimate him. Yeah. And you get to get free cards. That's really all it is, is to protect you and make sure they don't get them. All right, the next one is Makage Sujiro. It's a black, black, green, black, as it says. It's flying precision, 12-12. But when a resonator <laughs> dealt by this card turns in the graveyard, put it on the field under your control and said it's a darkness vampire in addition. And then remove a stranger resonator from your graveyard from the game. This game's eternal until in a turn. So that's just super good. Also, when you uh, enters the field, you pay any amount of life to deal target uh, damage to resonator. So therefore, you can get that resonator back on your field. And then with the other Makage, you gain life, so you don't actually lose anything. Yeah. This card has quickly become a f favorite of ours just because it's so it's... strong. For four mana, you get to kill two dudes, or kill a dude and get it. Like, yeah. Just any, like that. Anything that steals their dudes, that doesn't give them their dudes back yeah. when it dies, slash you get extra power, it's just super strong. Uh, next up is Blazer. He's two black and two red for a 10-10 flyer. Enter, target J resonator your opponent controls, loses all abilities until the end of the turn, then destroy it. If the J ruler was destroyed this way, the ruler your opponent controls loses all abilities until the end of game. So, 
you kill yes. their ruler, their J, and then it wipes their front side. So all the like inter triggers they don't happen. Yeah. And it's kind of game breaking if it happens because I've had it happen to me one time with when I was playing Gilapis and it's it's rough. Yeah. It's sick is what they say. It's yeah. Pretty pretty good. Next one of course is Griffin. It's uh, black and a green and four, but not really. It's a 12-12 flyer. Enters the field, put the top two cards of your Magic Stone deck in the field. Simple as that, and it, it works. Mana Ramp. That's Mana what ramp. it is. Uh, first spell we got is Dark Alice's Smile. It is one black. Chant slash Mage Art. Your opponent reveals their hand. Choose a Chant, Addition, Regalia, or Stranger from among them and remove from the game. If this card is awakened, you choose a card. We don't have a way to awaken it, so it's Doesn't just matter. remove one of the other non-resonators from the game. And simple as still that. really, really strong. Yeah, for sure. The next is Mode <clears throat> of the Dead. It's one darkness quick cast. You may banish your darkness resonator rather than pay this cost, so if you need to. Destroy target resonator if the total cost is less than the number of cards in your graveyard. Choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it in the graveyard. But you're going to have stuff in your graveyard, so therefore, it's pretty simple. Pretty good. Yeah, this card's good on that level, and it's also a mage art, mm -hmm. so it triggers off of Rhea. So you're yeah. like, cool, kill Rhea, kill your dude. I get a free dude. Yeah. And free dude in the yard. Yeah. So done. Uh, we have the one of World Ender, and it's only here to give your J Ruler Imperishable. It is two black, uh, give J Ruler Imperishable, so you can flip uh, Resid more times. Yeah. That's yeah. literally it. It can do God's Art, so I mean, you get extra mana for God's Art, but that's, that's all it does. That's about it. Next one is, of course, Short Injure. It's a dark and uh, white. Uh, quick cast, enter, remove target Regalia or Resonator you control from the game. And put it in the field rested until end of turn and that's all you're doing right yeah, that, so, yeah that's all you're doing and you get this with sigurd because it's an addition so you're like cool blink my regalia do triggers or whatever yeah do all the things to get all the other bonuses uh the second regalia we play is lover's lock it is a blue and a black for a quick cast uh produce two will of any combination of blue or black spin this only for strangers god's arts or mage arts so again all of your mage arts can be played with this or the strangers you get yep the next, of course, is Death Scythe. It's a darkness and green mythic regalia. Tap, produce two wheels of in combination of green or black. Spin this only play God's Art abilities, Mage Arts, from the or from the graveyard, activated abilities of from there. And then remove three cards from your graveyard from the game. Put this card in the graveyard into your hand. So that just makes it intense. Yeah, that allows you to keep getting it, which yeah. is so busted. Uh, next is Awakening of the Undead Lord. It is a black and a green for a Mage Art quick cast. You choose one, this card does 400 damage to each resonator, you gain life equal to the amount of damage dealt by this card, banish any number of resonators, draw that many cards, or put as XX Darkness Zombie into play where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. So this card is a lot stronger than I gave it credit for, because it, it can kill most things right now by doing four to the board, because you kill Rayas, you kill Yggdrasils, you kill all the little dudes that are yep. running around right now. And you just gain free life, like, kill your dudes. Next one is Awakening of Ambition. It's a darkness and blue. Mage Art, look at the top. Look at your opponent's hand, choose a card from that card in the bottom of their deck. If this card was Awakened, choose a card from the stranger deck at random, put it in your hand. Awakening is discard two cards, so if you have two Sigurds in your hand, then it just helps. Yeah, it's it, really good. It helps fuel Sigurd and it helps fill your graveyard so you can just do what you want. Yeah. Uh, next is Part of True Power, because this card is insanity with Rhea. So black and a green, uh, Mage Art, Remnant. As an additional cost to play this card, banish your resonator, put target darkness resonator from your graveyard into the field. So, that griffin we talked about, you're like, turn one Rhea, turn two this, get back griffin. Like, yeah. And then you get free stones and you do it again because you can. Yeah. And you already have like five stones on turn one that way, and it's, that's disgusting. Because the new stones that griffin puts in are untapped, so you can sack the other griffin if you wanted to, to get more. Yeah, if you have two griffins in the yard. It's just insane power to do this Back to back, because that's Remnant, and it only costs two. So. Yeah. Next one is Cage of the Mother Goose. It's a darkness and white, so you may rest a recovered fairy tale J Resonator you control rather than play this card, but enter. Uh, remove target non-J ruler, non-magic stone entity from the game, and then when this card leaves the field, they put it back to their hand. So simple as that. But yeah, you go get this with Sigurd too, because it's just an addition that you're like, okay, cool, go get this, remove your thing, because yeah. I can. And the fact that it puts it back to that hand, so it doesn't immediately come in the field, but you still have to deal with it, or cast it. Uh, the next up is the Princess that of Love Takes Control. It is a blue, blue, and a black for a quick cast Mage Art. Choose one. Put target resonator Regalia on, on the bottom of its owner's deck. Put two target resonators in the graveyard into your hand. 
or choose a card from your stranger deck at random and put it in your hand, then recover Toge Regalia. So this card is actually really strong just because it's got multiple options and the best one that the one that sees the most play is put a dude on bottom because it either stops them or gets rid of their regalia. Yeah. It's kind of ridiculous how good that can be. And with double regalias to cast it, you don't really tap out if you play this card, so it's kind of nice. Yeah, and of course quick cast for sure. The next one is Kage Sudro's Game of Dreams. It's two green, two black. Major, each player puts all resonators from the graveyard to the field, then each player benches all resonators not put in the field this way. So, it's basically you just swap graveyard for the field, and it's really fun. Yeah, and you're filling your graveyard up pretty quickly, so you don't really care. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's it for the deck. We got the stone deck. Uh, we have Magic Stone of the Deep Wood, Magic Stone of the Dark Depths, Magic Stone of Black Silence, and Adirakti's Memoria. So, it's... It's pretty well done mana base just to cover all the bases so you get what you need when you need it. And then we do have a couple honorable mentions because we don't do sideboards right now. Um, but the first honorable mention is Road to the Undead Lord. It is one black for an addition as well. Enter if your result is Rizard, choose two stranger cards and put them in random in the graveyard. Uh, and then cards in your graveyard cannot be targeted by spells or abilities your opponent's control. So if you're real worried about that, you bring this with you and be like, hey, don't target my stuff. Yep. And the final honorable mention we have is Curse of Caduceus. It is a black edition as well. For one black, uh, your opponent cannot gain life and your opponent cannot recover entities in a phase other than the recovery phase. And tap, your opponent loses two life. So it's a really good addition just to have as like a one or two of because you can go search it up with Sigurd. And right now in New Frontiers, it's mostly to just not let them gain life. Because yeah. if you played against Dark Alice, that's kind of what she does. Because she's got drain on like every creature possible. So you're like, no, stop, I mean, stop man, with stop, the game, stop it. And then occasionally you get to not let them untap, which is really nice. Um, that is it for the deck and the side, the, the honorable mentions. The deck list will be down below. I'm super excited to play this deck, and we are gearing up to play it against another meta like Gil Lapis deck to see what happens. So you'll see Gil Lapis soon enough, and when that happens, you're gonna see a fun brawl. Yep. Um, but with that, guys, we'll see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Bye. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.